Hey, apartment therapy. My name is Erin, and welcome to my 849 square foot apartment here in Washington, D.C. So when I first moved into this apartment, the first thing that I noticed was the tall windows and the bright light. This apartment gets a lot of sunlight. So the first thing I wanted to do was put plants all along the kitchen cabinets, but I decided to not do that. And instead I ended up putting plants along the walls next to the window and sitting plants on different things in the apartment. The kitchen is very obvious, but the living room, it could go either way. When I first moved in, I ended up putting the sofa on the opposite side to what you see now. And that made it feel a little more small and a little more cozy. But when I decided to move the sofa to the back wall, it opened up the space. So it kind of allowed me to make this whole section the living room. And then I was able to carve out a little section for my desk being my office. This is my living room. This was the main focal point of the apartment. This is the first thing that I started on that I wanted to decorate. The feel and the theme that I go for in my living room is more so boho, jungle, but a little bit of 90s, like I kind of just want to feel comfortable. I was deciding between a purple wall or this dark forest green wall, which I've had in a previous apartment in the dark forest green one. So I knew that that would just set the tone for everything. And once I painted this wall and got everything up, I just wanted to add different elements that showed me whether it was artwork or whether it was objects or plants up top. This is from an artist um, named Pardon My Fro on Instagram. And this big piece behind me and the two little pieces, this is from an artist um, called Damo Inc. on Instagram. I really wanted to have artwork that just screamed to my culture and represented me. So I got this sofa um, from Wayfair. I never had a black sofa before. I've always had colorful sofas. I've had purple, I've had green, I've had yellow. So I knew that by getting this black sofa, it would kind of fall into the forest green wall and even the bright colors that are on the wall will pop more. The pillows on the sofa will pop more because they're extremely colorful. So I just felt like a black sofa was really gonna be my vibe and set the tone. And then I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found this coffee table one morning, which was perfect for the space. I never envisioned that I would have a black coffee table, but it fits in the space as well because it allows the rug to pop because it's so colorful too. It literally screamed Proud Family to me. It screamed the colors of Proud Family and I knew that I had to have it between the pink and the orange and the purple. Every color in this rug fits every color in the apartment. I found the perfect place to sit my breakfast bar, which this is a breakfast bar that belonged to my mom and we used to sit at for years and just have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I decided to put this breakfast bar over by the window just to sit out and get a nice view. And I painted the breakfast bar this dark navy blue. And I think it goes so well with the living room. And at first I had it in the kitchen, but then I decided to move it over here. So I think it fits perfectly over here. So I had been living here for about a year before I was able to get this kitchen island. Um, I scoured Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and I finally came across one. So the first thing I did was took it apart and I spray painted it green. And then I was able to find um, these blue stool chairs on Facebook Marketplace as well. I wanted to get this kitchen island to make sure that I had seating for guests. I like to have friends over. I like for friends to come over and feel like my space is their space. I also purchased a table um, at Ikea that was just this birch color table. I ended up painting that and I ended up using a stencil to paint a design on that to create more seating, um, kind of in like my eating area is what I call it. So I purchased these smart tiles that I have been seeing um, on different like DIY projects on YouTube and I used them as a backsplash for the kitchen. Pretty easy to put up, but I love the turnout. So that ties into the pink coffee bar as well. So for the shelves, it was just some wood that I bought, got them to cut it at the hardware store. And then I just used some pink spray paint and then I drilled in the anchors into the wood. For the side cabinet, I was able to sand that down. I got some more pink spray paint, spray painted that and changed out the hardware with some blue knobs to make the coffee bar. And I, I like having the coffee bar, it works. So I'm a big coffee drinker. My mom bought this side cabinet um, back in the day to just kind of house mail and random things that she couldn't find storage for. So this sat in our kitchen at her house. My mom is a very neutral person. I'm a very colorful person. So by me spray painting that, that bright pink and putting on the blue knob, it brought in a piece of me to my mom's piece. And all the time that I've lived alone, my bedroom has never had a theme. It used to be the catch-all for everything before a closet was. 
So when I moved here, I knew that based off the sunlight that I got, I wanted this bedroom to be very relaxing, have colors, but not nothing, nothing too much. So of course I had to go with green. I ended up bringing in plants um, to start. And then I went to Lowe's and I got more shelves cut and I ended up leaving those shelves, just the birch wood that they were to kind of just make it more calm in the bedroom. I put plants on the shelf. And once I put plants on the shelf, I knew that I had to go get a dresser, which ended up making the dresser green. I spray painted that as well. And that's the dresser that I got um, off of Craigslist. And I just wanted every color in here to be either green or orangey or orangey like pink color. And then I also painted half the wall black in the bedroom to act as a headboard because I can never find a headboard that will work for my style. And just having that little bit of black in the bedroom, it, it works for the space. And then I got this um, cream color rug from Ruggable. I knew I wanted a big old rug in the bedroom. I wasn't too sure about cream, but because I try to make sure this is the place that I rest and relax, I felt like cream would kind of set the tone for everything. So I found these um, pieces of art that's on the wall along the bed at um, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls. I scoured each store to try to find different pieces and I thought they fit the bedroom perfectly. They definitely matched the black that I put on the wall to act as the headboard. So I just kind of wanted to have simple artwork in here. And then to the right of my bed, I have this pink lo mein painting on the wall. And it's just a reminder that I'm full of abundance and everything is in control and this is generally when I wake up in the morning I tend to look to the right because the window's over there so I get to see that artwork to remind me that every day is a new opportunity. So this is my bathroom. My bathroom is very simple. Um, I love Opal House um, by Jungalo at Target so the minute they drop a collection that is what my bathroom is going to look like. I have a cat named Soot. Um, Soot is about six years old. I got him from a coworker when he was a kitten. And then I have Aster who just turned 10 recently. Um, he's an older guy, he likes to lay in his bed um, and he's a cockapoo. So with Aster, I made sure to get him a bed that fit the aesthetic. I made sure to put his toys in a little basket that matched the living room. Um, and as for my cat Soot, I got Soot a small cat tree. It's enough that he can claw at it and get what he needs out of it, but it sits right behind um, my papa -san chair, so it kind of flows into the living room as well. And there is no good place in here necessarily to put a litter box um, out of sight, out of mind, where you can't smell it. So I ended up tucking Soot's litter box um, in the front closet where the coats are. So I kind of just put a door stopper there. That way it doesn't close all the way, so he has access to come in and out of the closet and go to his litter box. And then I also have, I have a hamster named Jeep. Jeep is named Jeep because he got lost in my Jeep the day that I brought him home. He chewed his way out of the box. When I went upstairs, I came back down. He was in the floorboards of the car. So I felt like naming him after the truck was just most appropriate. I will be honest, when I brought in all of my plants, I just kind of brought them in and assumed that my animals would just adjust. And luckily for me, they did. But I do recommend double checking which plants you do bring in the home because some can be toxic to cats and dogs. They just kind of fall into the space with the plants and the decor. And I think, I think they enjoy the place as much as I do. So I have an enamel pin business called Asters and Tulips, the enamel pin co. So Aster is a type of flower and my mom's favorite flower was tulips. That has been like the joy that I needed like during the pandemic. I really love it. I get to meet other plant people and Aster gets to go um, to some plant events too when I have the pins there. My home reflects me with the colorfulness that's in here, the plants that's in here, the nods to animals um, being in here by having um, the black art in my home, pictures of my family, positive affirmations. It just kind of tells you everything that's going on in my brain on a day-to-day -day basis when you walk into my space. So my mom um, has had a huge influence on my style and just home decor period. My mom passed away when I was a teenager. And since then, I've really tried to hold on to a few of her pieces and bring them into my home. And my mom, she was the one that took me to open houses when I was younger. We used to sit and watch HGTV together. So I think my mom would really appreciate my space and I think she'd be proud of me. And honestly, if it wasn't for her, I don't know. I have no idea what my space would look like if it wasn't for her. I really felt like her taking the time to watch these shows with me and teach me about home decor and take me on these home tours 
it really pulled the interior designer out of me for my space.